A remarkable run for Red Raider basketball comes to a close in the national championship. You're watching Double T Insider. I'm Taylor Peters alongside Robert Giovanetti. Coach Chris Beard in his third season led the Red Raiders to the championship game. I mean, just an unbelievable season for this group. You were there in Minneapolis. What was that experience like just to know that you are witnessing history for this team? The, the whole weekend, and almost every person I talked to eventually said the word surreal when it came out because – you know, the NCAA championship is is the crown jewel for the NCAA of all their championships. They don't they don't run the CFP, and so this is their big event, their very biggest event. And so it's all done in this great first-class manner. And there's Texas Tech, a part of it, a major part of it. And on the championship game, they do the laser show, and you see your team logo on the floor, and you're hearing Jim Nance call out the starting lineup, and you're thinking, wow, we're a part of this, part of uh, potentially winning a national championship. The way that I heard it described is, you know, you zoom out and you look at the big picture and it's like, wow, it, it, it is surreal that we're in the national championship. But as you get closer and you're watching these games and you're watching them, you know, beat one team and, and two teams in the postseason and then they beat Gonzaga and they beat Michigan, it's like, I'm not surprised that we're here at all because Coach Beard said it multiple times, like, we're really good. We deserve to be here. I thought after they beat Michigan State, I thought Michigan State was the other. I thought Michigan State, besides Tech, was the best team in the yeah. Final Four. But the Red Raiders throughout were able to really decimate every opponent they played. They'd wear them down. We talk a lot on the show about imposing their will. They did that throughout every team that they beat. From Northern Kentucky, everyone thought Buffalo would beat them. They beat Buffalo. Then they go out to the West Coast to beat Michigan and Gonzaga and really just really – took care of business with both those teams and not even in doubt and did the same thing with Michigan State in the first game so yeah they, they certainly belonged. Yeah Michigan State that, that 61-51 victory over a really maybe the most physical team that we've seen Texas Tech play all year and I mean like you said they just really imposed their will they came back in the second half to, going into halftime really close they come back in the second half shoot 56 percent from the field how big is Matt Mooney in that game? Mooney was the, the great thing about this team is there's always seemed to be somebody that would step up. Uh, you know, Jarrett was, was pretty steady throughout, but there was would be the Mooney and Moretti or sometimes Norris or whoever. Somebody would have that big game, and Mooney in that second half against Michigan State, just unbelievable. I mean, 22 points for him, and then the other grad transfer, Tariq Owens, three blocks, which at the end of the game ended up being a, a huge deal, especially considering the fact that he goes back into the locker room, and, and we're really not sure if he's going to be able to return to this game. He comes running at full speed back out into the tunnel and is – you know, slapping hands with with the student section. That moment for me was probably one of the best of the season. You can't ever talk about injuries as how they might have affected because every team deals with them. But you cannot put enough importance on the that injury to Tariq and how he played in the championship game and how that might have affected uh, some things defensively. But. Wow, what a warrior that kid is. Absolutely, and they were talking about it on the TV broadcast. They go back, and, and Chris Williams, a trainer, is doing what he needs to do with Tariq, and then you have the equipment manager basically shoveling through shoes to get a bigger size so that he could uh, fit it onto his foot. Just, I can't emphasize how much of a team effort from the, the head coach all the way down to the managers, graduate assistants, trainers, everybody played such a huge role. We hear all year long, and people see it and ask about four to one, how Chris Beard preaches four parts mental to one part physical. Uh, that was really on display this weekend. When we come back, we take a look at this historic season for Red Raider basketball. We'll be right back on Double T Insider. Double T Insider is brought to you in part by Plains Capital Bank. Bank with confidence. The Red Raider Club. Your support, their effort, our fearless champions. Texas Farm Bureau. Register today for your chance to deliver the game ball and receive a VIP experience at a Texas Tech home football game. Contest details available at TexasTech.com. Thank you to United Supermarkets for the continued support of Red Raider basketball. United Supermarkets, the presenting sponsor of Texas Tech basketball postseason. How about Texas Tech? Right. How about Lubbock, Texas right now? What do you think's going on there? <laughs> I'm going to go down and get a Buddy Holly Boulevard. Yeah, they're <laughs> celebrating in the streets in Lubbock. Wow. Because Texas Tech Monday night will be playing for the national championship. Welcome back into Double T Insider. That huge moment right there for Texas Tech Red Raiders as they realize the dream that they're going to be headed to the national championship. But the thing that I appreciate and really respect about this whole group is the level of intentionality that they have in every single game leading up to that point. The, everything this team does, this program does, is with a purpose. Yeah. They, nothing is by chance. 
and, and it plays out on the court. They, uh, they're more disciplined than every team they play. And you talk a lot about, man, all of the incredible moments throughout the course of the season. And some of them are in the postseason, but some of them were, you know, in the games in, in the Big 12 Conference when you're putting yourself in a position to go and be successful in the postseason. So when you talk about some of these highlight moments, I mean, for you, what were some of those moments in the Big 12 that, that really were special for you? I think when no one thought this team was going to do anything, right? Picked seventh or worse by most everyone before the season. And, and you, know, you lost a lot of guys. You didn't know what you were going to have coming back. You didn't know anything about Mooney or Tariq and how are they going to play. But I thought the way they responded to that three-game losing streak in the middle of the year when a lot of fans started thinking, a lot of media started saying, okay, now <laughs> this is what we thought was going to happen. And, and Coach Beard just said, you got to just stay the course. And this is a tough league and everyone has great players. And the way they responded to that, is one of my favorite memories of this season. Yeah, and then they go on the road and they win the first ever Big 12 title at Iowa State, the team to, who beat us here at home. I mean, every single team in the Big 12 Conference is good, but for them to be able to go and do something like that was really, really hard to do. And we, we see it here. It's hard to win on the road in the Big 12. Tech was 17-1 at, at home this year and last year. Uh, one of the reasons they have been so successful. And to be able to come back, share that with our fans, how emotional that night was to go out on the court and cut down the nets here. Uh, so many great memories this group provided us. So special. And then they hold up that Big 12 trophy uh, on, on midcourt. So many incredible moments for the Red Raiders this year. Let's take a look back at some of the brightest moments for Red Raider basketball.
so much fun to watch. This entire group was fun to watch throughout the course of this entire season. But Red Raider basketball did so many things to really bring the community of Lubbock together. We talk more about that coming up next on Double T Insider. We started this whole thing by saying there was a relationship in college basketball between attendance and support and winning. And that's exactly what happened this year. Simply stated, I thought we had the best home court advantage in college basketball this year because of y'all. I want to thank everybody in Red Raider Nation, everybody that came to home games this year, everybody that traveled, our season ticket holders, everybody that just cared enough to come to a game, watch the game, support the team in any way you did. And a special thank you to our tech students who basically transformed our program this year. Welcome back into Double T Insider. Just the number of people who in the middle of the day were here to welcome back the Red Raiders when they came back from Minneapolis shows a lot about just the level of support that exists in this community for Texas Tech basketball. I, I was on that bus and wasn't sure what kind of crowd would be here just because what you said, it's the sure, middle of the day. Sure. People are working and if you ever wonder, and I know you don't, but if you ever wonder why college athletics or athletics is important, we saw it over the last run of a couple weeks. It brings the community together. It's something that everyone bands together and we all feel it, the wins, the losses. It's its really the beauty of, of athletics. Yeah, and it was special to be able to have one more event here inside the arena with this team, with these fans, just to be able to really kind of put a bow on this incredible season for the Red Raiders. But just the fan support that existed here inside the arena and on the road is, is truly special. What a wonderful season it has been for Texas Tech basketball. Stay with us. We'll be right back on Double T Insider. Welcome back into Double T Insider. Geo, a year ago we sat here and we were talking about the senior class that we were losing from last year and guys like Justin Gray and, and Keenan Evans and Zach Smith who were incredible players and set the foundation for this team. But we were talking about you know, Matt Mooney and Tariq and we really didn't know what we didn't were going to get from them. Mm -hmm. And they ended up being even more than we could have expected. And so now we're talking about, you know, losing this group. I just have a lot of confidence in the kids that we have coming back. There's no doubt. Chris Beard has shown he's building a program. Speaking of those guys, seeing Keenan and, and Zach and, and Naeem at the Final Four was fantastic. But uh, we, we didn't know. And we talked about this earlier in the program. Media didn't know. And Tech is picked to finish anywhere from seventh or lower. And... Coach Beard has shown us he knows how to build a program and he's recruited already very well the guys coming in. Uh, we saw a lot of Kyler, we talked about Kyler. 
uh, Corpru is going to be fantastic. And the pieces are in place. Coach Beard has built a program. And they use this word all the time, developmental program. And I think that we can kind of talk about what we think that that means, but he has shown us in a big way the last two seasons what it means to be a developmental program. And, and what Coach Riley and the way that he's able to kind of develop these kids, it, it, that plays a huge part in it. Coach Riley got a lot of attention, and deservedly so, in Minneapolis Absolutely. because of the way that Tech was, how physical. People didn't realize how physical they were until they played them, and, and Coach Riley deserves a lot of credit for that. But just the, the guys that are coming back, that they've seen now what it takes, they want their taste. It, it, you know they're going to be, and as Coach Beard likes to say, we just want to be in the fight when it comes to February and March, and certainly they were this year. Did you see that tweet that Coach Wells put out? Yes, uh, I did. Talking about the the recruit, I mean, the stars, you know, from some of these kids. Matt Mooney had none. Jarrett Culver had, you know, two or three. Kyler Edwards. I mean, that spoke a lot to me, especially from, you know, just a developmental standpoint and just being able to take those guys, two and three star players, to the national championship and play against Blue Blood schools. I mean, that that speaks so much about Coach Beard's ability to to bring these players along. And he can recruit. He talks to anybody and you want to immediately play for him and because of just the way his message comes across and his relationship with the players. But national media just blown away when they got a chance to watch their practices just to see how they are in practice, how instructional this coaching staff is. And that's why these kids develop the way they do. This is a group that we will remember years from Years now. and years and years to come. So last question, real quick. Is there one player in particular that you're just thrilled about being able to watch come back next year? Kyler Edwards, we talked about him, and, and I th he seemed just perfect for the big stage. He wanted the ball at big moments, and I'm excited to see where he goes from here. Stay with us. We'll be right back on Double T Insider. Double T Insider was brought to you in part by Plains Capital Bank. Bank with confidence. The Red Raider Club, your support, their effort, our fearless champions. Texas Farm Bureau, register today for your chance to deliver the game ball and receive a VIP experience at a Texas Tech home football game. Contest details available at texastech.com. Thank you to United Supermarkets for the continued support of Red Raider basketball. United Supermarkets, the presenting sponsor of Texas Tech basketball postseason. Welcome back into Double T Insider. Coming up this week in Texas Tech Athletics, Red Raider football wraps up spring ball with the spring game at the Ford Center at the Star in Frisco Saturday at 2 o'clock. Meanwhile, Red Raider baseball gets back into Big 12 play on the road at West Virginia for a three-game series Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Texas Tech softball hits the road this weekend. Three games in Waco against Baylor. Texas Tech women's tennis home Friday. They will host Oklahoma. And then Sunday, they will host Oklahoma State. The Texas Tech men's tennis team home on Saturday hosting Baylor. That's all of our time for now. Thanks so much for being with us today on Double T Insider. We'll see you next week.